Thailand, along with most countries in the world, have been devastated by the physical and financial impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. In this video, we ask the question that, to be able to travel back to Thailand, whether you will need a vaccine injection and if you are willing to go down that path. If this is your first time on the channel, or you have returned and like the content, then can I ask you to please like, share and subscribe. It really does help me and the channel. Oh yeah, and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss out on upcoming videos. With Thailand's tourist industry being decimated, time is not on the kingdom's side. Thousands and thousands of businesses and employees have lost their incomes due to the COVID pandemic. The Thai government would be under enormous pressure to do something to reinvigorate the economy and to get the tourism industry up and running again. The race is on in many countries to be the first to create a vaccine that can eliminate the virus and restore confidence in governments and people to be able to travel once again. There is confidence building that a few countries are advanced in the development of a COVID vaccine. So, what are the thoughts of the Thai government and how do they get the tourism industry moving and give tourists confidence in returning to Thailand? There is a rumour that they are developing what's called a digital passport. International travel in the future will probably look a lot different than it once did. For you to travel to Thailand, this passport will have a digital stamp that shows if you have been vaccinated or not. It's said that if you are not vaccinated, you will not be able to enter Thailand. Now that many vaccines for the pandemic have been rushed through the development process, it is at just a matter of time before they are available and are distributed to countries that are willing to pay for them. No doubt there will be millions of people that will rush out and get injected, but equally there will be millions of others that will have opposing views and will not get vaccinated under any circumstances. Unfortunately, for those that choose not to get vaccinated, they will find themselves not being able to travel internationally. There is a lot of speculation out there about the possibility of some sort of COVID passport for international travel, but it has been reported that such a thing is actually in the final development stages and will soon be implemented into the travel industry as soon as it is proved. The International Air Transport Association has stated that it's in the final development phase of a mobile digital passport app that would tell airlines if international travellers have been vaccinated against the pandemic. The ATA believe this app would help to get people travelling safely again by giving governments confidence that this system can work as a replacement for quarantine requirements currently in place. Needless to say, the international ATA will be strongly urging all carriers to use this new digital passport when it's available. But will the airlines go along? In Australia, Qantas Chief Executive Alan Joyce has already made it quite clear that he expects international travellers to prove that they have been vaccinated before they are able to board their planes. He has already stated that they are looking at changing the terms and conditions in their tickets to say that international travellers must have the vaccination before they get on their aircrafts. But how do we really know if the vaccines will be safe and have not been rushed through to limit the financial damage this pandemic has caused? According to the World Health Organisation, if a clinical trial shows that a COVID-19 vaccine is safe and effective, a series of independent reviews and evidence of the efficacy and safety of the vaccine is required, including regulatory review and approval in the country where the vaccine is manufactured. Usually, vaccine development is a long, complex process, often lasting 10 to 15 years and involves a combination of public and private involvement. The current system for developing, testing and regulating vaccines was developed during the 20th century. There are so many stages in developing an effective vaccine. The question that many people will be asking is, has technology moved so far forward that the scientists are able to circumvent a process that usually takes many years to perfect? Are governments prepared to risk harm to some people in order for the world's economy to kickstart back to life? What would be the ramifications if these vaccines are approved and years down the track major health issues are discovered and the link is the vaccine. Another moral dilemma is if governments can force people to have the vaccine. We are brought up with the confidence that our civil liberties and freedom of speech are paramount in our lives. Will this pandemic force us to forego our civil liberties? For example, 
No jab, no travel. No jab, no childcare. No jab, no employment. For me personally, I am someone that is committed to living a healthy, natural lifestyle and believe in my personal liberty. I love to travel and am missing not being able to travel, especially to Southeast Asia and specifically Thailand. I don't know what I would do if I was forced to have the vaccination to travel internationally again. At the end of the day, it will come back to the individual and whether you trust the process and are willing to go along with the authorities in implementing these measures. What are your thoughts on vaccines and travelling back to Thailand? Comment below.